Okay, next thing we're gonna do, now that we have groups, we can deal with creating our masks over here to, to mask our fixture sheet. Since we've created these by fixture type, these groups, um, I can use those to mask this fixture sheet to just display one certain type of light so that I'm not having to scroll around all over the place trying to find these. We st we're still on the programmer only mask, so let's go back to the none up here, which will display all of our lights. All right, so to create a mask, it's the same as anything else that's in a pool. We can just right click on the cell that we want to deal with and um, it will open up the edit screen for that. Or we could hit at the edit key and then touch on the cell. Um, and again, we're going to mask these by groups since we have them all built and separated out by fixture type. That makes total sense to do that. So we're going to start with mask number eight here right click on it or click on edit and touch that cell, which opens up the edit mask screen. Now I can, I can mask this fixture sheet by multiple different things, either by show, um, including them or excluding them. And I have two different columns here of things that I can do. Uh, on the left side, it would be by a fixture. So by fixture types, I'm gonna tell it to show or or hide things. The right side would be by certain attributes. So I could filter things for just things that are dimmers or colors or something like that. We're gonna be dealing with the fixture side because we're dealing with fixture types, okay? Um, in this column, in the columns here, we see the first one is, it says show if, and these are separate lines. So I could do like four lines of filters with within one mask if I wanted to, or eight if I'm using both sides. That would be kind of crazy, but you can do that. And if I clicked on show if, it would change the hide if. So I can uh, mask this to show certain fixtures if the conditions are met, or hide them from the sheet if, they, if those conditions are met. We're gonna deal with only show if, and we're only gonna be dealing with one line on the left side here. Okay, right now the box of the condition says, or the rule says none. I'm gonna click the arrow next to that. And these are all of the things I can um, set as rules to mask this sheet, either to show or hide if these rules are met. Um, for us, we're only gonna be dealing with objects. So I'm gonna show if this object um, is the criteria. Click on an object and it will open up this other box to the right of that that's got three question marks. So this is where we select which object we're talking about. So if I click that, you'll see the different objects you can mask this fixture sheet by. So groups, effects, presets, sequences, or worlds. Um, for us, we're gonna be masking by groups. So we're gonna be dealing with the first tab here this is this plus sign here. We're gonna click that to open up the groups pool hierarchy menu. And we're just gonna go in order again by fixture ID. So first group we have here is Viper Wash. So um, we don't need to mask by all because that's the same thing as none. So we'll start with group two, Viper Wash. So now my rule here for this mask is to show the fixture if it is in the object group to or Viper Wash group. So if I activate this mask, it's going to show all of the Viper Washes or everything in this group two. Okay, close that menu. We wanna name these. Um, so we're gonna name them by the fixture type because that's what we're doing, Viper Wash. Oops. So now if I click on this mask to activate it, it will turn green and it will mask my fixture sheet to all the items or fixtures that are in the group two. So all my viper washes. So we're just gonna keep going through and we're basically gonna be doing the top row here. We don't, we're not gonna mask by the different parts. Um, we don't really need to. So for mask number nine, right click. Same process for each one of these, click the drop down or pop up window um, in object. Under the question marks, open the groups pool, select your Aura XB group, number three. 
We'll name that Aura XB. I'm gonna click on these as I go just to check them to make sure they're working right. And I see, yes, 301 to 310, both parts of the fixtures. Okay, group 10 or mask 10, sorry. Drop down in object. We are on to the quantum wash group now, group four. Name that quantum wash. Click on it to check it, and there's all my uh, quantum wash stuff. Mask 11, in object, quantum profiles. So group six. Name that one quantum profiles. Check it, 501 to 511. Group 12, in object, group number seven, atomics. Name that atomic. We'll check it when we see the point one and twos for all the atomics. Okay, last one, we're gonna do the kryptons. So mask number 13, in object, group eight, krypton. Name that one Krypton and check that. So now I can quickly move around here and I can move to whatever mask up to the type of fixture I'm dealing with so I can see everything easier and I don't have to scroll all over the place in this sheet finding the lights I'm looking at. Just quickly select the mask, see which one. Um, just remember that once you activate a mask, it's gonna stay there until you tell it to go back to none. So if you're done, using the mask, always go back to none. So you see everyone and you're not getting confused and not seeing things you might want to see. 